even talk to someone until at least four months into research if I was anyone. And yeah. I think that's that's the biggest thing is a lot of people are learning about this real quick and a lot of stuff's coming in their face real quick and a lot of people are commenting back and most of the people commenting don't really know what they're talking about and should maybe be observing more than speaking at this point and just researching and really making their own experiments and, oh, yeah. and we've mentioned the ones that you can do. I mean, let, let's give props to Eric because that 200 proofs video that he's got, that's 200 proofs and he just goes one. And it, I mean, that takes a long time to go through those 200 and I'm totally riveted to this thing. I had to do it in like two sessions. <laughs> but yeah, when, it's yeah. When go you ahead. Start going, when you start going through that, it's, it's pretty hard to, to refute. I mean, even if you could refute some small portion of those, there's still, that still leaves like 180 that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, I mean, that, that 200 proofs that he did recently, it does nothing but help the movement. And I, I'm really glad he made it. I'm glad that he didn't keep going down the road, uh, where he's going with his different worldviews, but it, <laughs> Again, I, I have referenced him many times in the past, and you know I still credit him to this day. He and he and Matt Boylan, where he both based a lot of his work off of, uh, were were how I got into this process. I have not been shy about about saying that. Uh, and yeah, he's he's unfortunately run into kind of the same ego type thing that Matt ran into, and that was you know Matt Boylan was talking about it three years ago at least, and nobody was listening, and. You know, Eric was doing his stuff, and people were listening a little bit more. But yeah, all of a sudden, the beginning of this year, the thing just took off. And, and part part of it was because I broke it down into really easily digestible chunks. And for those people in the conspiracy world, or even if you're not in the conspiracy world, you got to understand that you've got to appeal to anyone if you want to read. You got to appeal to a mass audience, and so that's why I did really small chunks and and said, "Look, here's ten minutes. Here's a little clue what you might look to. If you like it, look at the next clue. And if you like that, look at the next clue." And it seemed to resonate. Uh, I I didn't think it would have nearly the response that it did, but it, it did. And and I, yeah. It, so and I don't know how much you want to talk about this. Let's just get the yeah. This is, this is probably his biggest his biggest gripe and. And why he's coming off on on you and a, and a few others is Eric Eric's feeling is like okay you guys are willing to throw NASA under the bus but that's a no brainer everyone knows NASA's phony and it's it's easy but he's like you gotta and maybe they're even willing to throw the Freemasons but you know he's got this and I'm halfway through it too and again I want to keep an open mind about everything. Mm -hmm. the, the Hitler versus the new Jew or the Jew world Jew order, world order. Yep. and taking about Israel and Zionists. And it's undoubted to me, the Zionist influence on this earth and the way things work again. Okay. And this is a trippy thing as I research and this much like many people out there. Okay. I'm part native American and Irish on my mom's side but my dad was German. Okay. And mm -hmm. Sherry, my partner is Jewish and I, uh -huh. so as we're learning about this stuff and watching this stuff and Eric's saying, and you know, you've probably watched the entire, uh, Hitler yeah. versus the new Jew or the Jew world order. Yeah. So, you know where that's going. Mm -hmm. This kind of things brings questions up. Cause again, it's like slavery. You, you and I are white. We had nothing to do with slavery, but you still feel a bit of shame that even anyone in your lineage could do that to another human being. Yeah. So I wasn't in Hitler's regime. I wasn't born in Germany and I don't, I'm not an expert on Hitler by any stretch to speak about it, but the naivete that I have is probably what lets me have a little bit of shame about that because uh. I don't understand it. And so I've always, and I think anyone who has German in their background goes, well, that's kind of a dark thing on our heritage, you know? And likewise, you know, Eric's coming out and, and spinning in a totally different way. He says the Holocaust never happened. And if people want to go look, it's right there on YouTube, or at least it was Hitler versus the G world order. So he has this whole view. That's the exact opposite of what everyone else believes, you know? 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> with everyone yeah. else. And I'm not taking a side. I'm neutral on yeah. it because I think he has a, his biggest problem that he seems to grade on it is that you guys aren't willing to uh, go all the way there as he calls it. So that's, he's justifying a little bit of his, he, he, he thinks that's shillish. So yeah. Do you want to speak to that? Or? Uh, sure. I mean, uh, when it comes to throwing Ness under the bus, yes, because there, again, it goes along kind of with the clues. It's an easy target. The, the mob with the pitchforks and the torches, they're going to want somebody. You know, the first thing, let, let's face it, if this thing, or I should say when, this thing actually comes to light unless some sort of event completely derails it and, and you know, there's something that's even bigger that, that uh, overshadows it. Uh, people are going to want, uh, you know, a scapegoat. They're going to want to point fingers. And the, wh- who's going to be on the cover of all of every magazine, every internet page, everywhere? It's going to be NASA or Neil deGrasse Tyson or the head of NASA that nobody knows the name to or Bill Nye the science guy. It's going to be someone in the science department. Yeah, you could go back further than that. You know, you could go back that, you know, that NASA was founded on the ashes of the Nazi war machine or the Masons or the Jesuits or the Zionists or who, whoever, however far back you want to pin it to. But that's that comes in layers, and which is how the authority works. The, you know, the 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 masses that are out there are going to go after the biggest, easiest target, and the one that is the outright lie, the one that's literally been a lie since day one, which is really unique in this world. It's an, an entire organization that is based on a lie. I mean, it's not like the CIA or the FBI or the NSA or DOD or any of those guys. You know, we know what they do. More or less, it's all cloak and dagger stuff. But NASA seems to be the only one that's absolutely based on illusion. You know, they are theater, pure through and through. And that's the one that's going to go down first. So, yeah, that's the one I throw under the bus because it's easy. And they're high profile. Um, And that's the the thing. And I think, and you're hitting on the head. And Eric and whoever, and my, again, my intent today is to mellow this out so we can just... It doesn't serve any of us to be backbiting and infighting, mm-hmm. you know, amongst the movement. It's only further. Let's just brainstorm and talk because that's what a brainstorming session is. You know, when I went to Wharton, they said when people are throwing ideas on the table in a brainstorming session, which is what we're doing, we're all just brainstorming to figure out WTF, what's really up, where are we? Mm-hmm. No ideas are bad ideas. And that's yeah. the worst thing you can do. Uh, whether you're in a business and to f- employees to make them feel you want to shut an employee up, do that to them a couple times when they throw out an idea and say that's stupid or, you know, that's ridiculous or your idea isn't worth even hearing. No, you hear out everyone's idea in a brainstorming session, even the most ridiculous ideas, because sometimes the ridiculous idea will lead you to a slightly saner, re- you know, that's where the reality might stem from yeah. then the cream always rises to the top right yeah. and all yep. the stuff the truth of the truth of the truth the truth is going to rise and no one's going to be able to deny it and all this stuff was just wasted energy and yeah. and like pissing and marking territory and you made a point on patricia's show about people staking out because people are seeing there's money to be made here and yeah. who, who was first to market with the flat earth concept maybe trying to protect that and the money thing and you know but yeah. that is in total contradiction if you're going to say we're doing this because we're not uh power hungry we're not greedy we're not narcissistic we're not psychopaths and that money has no more value than the paper that lines the cat litter tray so who cares about staking out monetary claims on the flat earth concepts or books or movies or whatever fuck that shit (laughs) let's just figure out where we're living and for me the number one and two priorities are i think it's great to bring nasa down first because it's low hanging fruits that's another thing you learn in business you can't tackle that sometimes the biggest problems first you have to deal with low-hanging fruit and for two reasons i think the way you're doing it's a little smarter because a lot of people a whole race of people are going to have a whole lot of problems with the whole holocaust didn't exist concept 
And yeah. that's going to turn them off to listening to one word you got to say about flat earth. But if he, NASA is an easy takedown, it's easy to see it's fake. The stuff didn't stand up to the internet in the test of time. They could yeah. have never predicted the internet would be invented. And then nerds were going to analyze every second of NASA footage yeah. <laughs> and point out yeah. all the, all the silly stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they were, uh, you know, if that's it's a double-edged sword. If you're going to make yourself that high profile, no organization is as high profile as they are, uh, literally. Uh, if you're going to do it, you're going to put yourself in the spotlight, you know, you got to be ready for in case something goes wrong. And, and so, yeah, that's that's where we are now with them. That, now they're, that's why they're panicking. And it's a moment. great way to go in to finding out the other stuff. Let people find out the other stuff about, you know, how, who's behind this, because that's going to be the next step, right? Yeah. Let's just yeah. figure out that they're lying to us and NASA's fake. That should be enough to make people pissed off enough to do something about it, right? Yeah. Then we can start worrying who to hold accountable, because to me, that's the next step. Who do we hold accountable? How do we shift to some new kind of government where we lead ourselves, as Eric says? Yeah. As the Morpheus memes from the Matrix that are floating around, we can lead ourselves. Brazil took to the streets. Iceland's doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. You know, and I lived in Brazil, and it's amazing to see what they've done. Because at the time I lived there, they had the worst economy on the earth. And now yeah. I can say America could learn a few things about what they're doing to turn their country around. Yeah. Um, worry about. Let's hold NASA accountable because that's billions of dollars. That's a shit ton of lies. That's the challenger thing that they lied about. Those people are still alive. And then let's start looking at, all right, now that we've called you on that, tell us what's up in Antarctica. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what's the little unique arrangement that you guys got here with the UN and you guys all, you, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'll all keep the everything will fall like dominoes uh, in in that. I mean, you know, NASA will lead to somebody else. They'll lead to somebody else, and yeah, it'll lead to Antarctica. It'll lead to the ISS. It'll lead to the moon. Um, it'll lead to the plains in the southern hemisphere, which they're trying to patch up as we speak, even today in the headlines, which I loved. They're trying to, you know, admitted that they don't even have coverage in the southern hemisphere, and now they're trying to create a whole new system that'll have coverage. It's like, really, what's what's wrong with the one you have now? I suppose. So, I, but I, I think, I mean, I think this is positive. Hopefully, again, I hope Eric, listen, <clears throat> Eric, I think your work is amazing. I'd love to have you on this show to just sit back and listen. Cause I think, again, that's what most people, you know, I had to set it up a little bit at the beginning. I'll probably edit some of that time out and make it even shorter. Sure. But, uh, because again, people are coming into this week's episode. I've got listeners and new listeners every week and, you know, we just played a bunch of shows and made a bunch of new fans. So now I've got a bunch of new fans. They're going to listen to my show for the very first time this week. And this is what I'm giving them. They're going to say, all right, this cat plays a mean guitar, but he's fucking lost his mind. <laughs> so, I, you know what I'm I, saying? Yeah, I, I would have said the same thing, too. But the, the people that I have interviewed in the last uh, two months, not even two months, uh, have, have confirmed everything that the movement's been talking about, which is, which is amazing. Do you, do you want me to go over them at all? Or did you have a, yeah, yeah. And that's the uh, thing is maybe he's a little butt hurt because, and again, this is, he's a little bit like, this is why maybe I'm resonating with the underdog here or whatever. He's, <laughs> he's coming off a little bit like Dave Mustaine to me. He's a little bit like the boy in the sandbox who can't share his toys and doesn't realize there's enough credit for everybody and there's yeah. enough room for everybody in the thing. And yeah, it's, he'll, he'll, as this thing grows, I mean, give uh, myself and any other person little credit. It's like we're helping his book sales. You know, he's getting all a ton of uh, a lot more hits on YouTube because of everybody else's work. So because they keep I mean, I can't tell you, like you said, uh, I can't tell you how many people have emailed me or called me and says, oh, yeah, I found Eric's work first and then I got to you. 
And and Eric's yeah, absolutely. And the dudes on the round table said the other. They said they found Mark Surgent first and that led us to you, Eric. And we yeah. were seeing value in both and they kept asking, can't you acquiesce that? <laughs> and he's yes. he's kinda not willing. And that's the thing. Uh, I think Eric's findings are amazing and anyone who's gonna put that kind of research that he put in, that you put in, that Borland put in that anyone that I'm putting in editing these videos that yeah. anyone's going to put in sending a balloon up that high or buying drones, spending money, going out to the salt flats and doing research, doing these experiments that can only be 100% positive because we're taking, we're taking it back for the first time. We're taking accountability each and every one of us. There's never been something that's so there's never been something like this. That's so easy to prove. Anyone yeah. can prove the flat earth that the earth isn't spinning with a $50 telescope in water. Yeah. And that's what I told my buddy, the, the guy who, uh, the drafting guy, you know, I told him about your land surveyor and you, it just broke my heart when the first video he sent me was Carl Sagan. I'm like, fuck man, are you kidding me? <laughs> Is this really where I'm starting? And then the other day I'm talking to him about chemtrails and he goes, what are chemtrails? And I just, I threw up my hands. I go, okay, I'm done with this guy. Wow. Cause they're spraying Vegas. Like, and that's the only thing I don't get. I'm not getting the link to chemtrails. I'm seeing they're projecting cities over in China. I'm just hoping, I just hope they're not, that lame they're, they're going to try to freak people out with some kind of projection of religion in the sky or aliens and that they yeah. think that that's going to fool people because that thing over in china that i saw this week and you've seen other we've been seeing stuff in the sky these yeah. hologram things and people are saying the chemtrails what they're spraying is what makes it the sky almost like a drive-in movie yeah. screen yeah, there you go. I hope they wouldn't be that lame to do something like that. Uh, just, you never know. Yeah. But they did put, you know, again, the answers to this stuff aren't going to come from someone like Trump or Ronald Reagan or an actor or someone that's that looks like a majestic figure or something. People, the answers of what's going on around you are just going to come from people like Mark or Eric or me or radio shows like this. We're just people. We're just people looking for the truth. Yeah. Let's stop beating each other up over just trying to figure out what's going on because we've already been beat up by them long enough. Let's not beat up each other anymore. I mean, yeah. I don't get that. I think we all should just leave all that stuff that we can't explain for sure as a big upside down mystery and get yeah. to the bottom of blowing NASA out of the water so they stop raping us for that money. And yeah. just that resets the playing field that, at that time, enough people are awake to say, if they lied to us about NASA, what else did they lie to us about? And then they'll figure out the rest, man. They'll figure out 9-11. They'll figure out the whole path. Yeah. You know, but if we yeah. keep fighting here because you see them reacting, you see Mark comes on my show and Google declares it 20, you know, 2015's Flat Earth. And now they're, then NASA releases the photos. And then here yeah. comes the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's time to get to the truth fast because it's ticking away. Mm -hmm. And as I'm researching a few things I don't want to talk about yet online, I mean, the things that I'm seeing are, are scary. What they're plotting and planning and scheming is scary and we don't have time to waste, you know? So if we can kind of everyone wake up, see NASA's bullshit, if we could realize that the earth at least isn't what they told us it was. We got to investigate more Then that's the cool thing about it. This launches a whole new era of scientific, what it's going to be a new kind of scientific exploration for real this time. Yeah. For real. Let's find out what, what's going on without the bullshit of them, you know, doing it. So we won't bail and go look for somewhere else to live. Cause we don't want to pay their taxes. You know, and that's the thing. There's been a lie. The Fed, you know, don't get me started on the Federal Reserve. It's all a lie. People, you, we got to get to the bottom of that stuff. NASA, the Fed, Antarctica, all that stuff will lead us to the rest. And I think 
at that point, the world has a chance. We have a fighting chance and how much of the rest we deal with. I mean, there's that point where you can't sit there also worrying about the past. Cause if we're going to sit there trying to hold everyone accountable and punish everybody for the wrongdoing mm-hmm. they did, we won't have the time to create a new future. Yeah. So we need to like, I just want to see a shift in how stuff gets done and whether we lead ourselves or whatever we got to do, get whatever eye for an eye people feel like they need, but be done with that. And let's figure out where we are and where we're going right here on earth. Yeah. Because we've wasted enough time looking in space and space movies. And I, I get people have a hard time like the star Wars fans and the star Trek fans, what that doesn't exist. And I'm not going to ever be able to do that or, you know, yeah, I know it's hard to let go of that. I feel yeah. for you, but I'm just not attached to that. I like the movie Star Trek. I watch, but it, I'm just not attached to that stuff. That it's that hard for me to let it go. Hmm. Well What's said. hard for me to let go is when I see people that I think are working for something that's cool and positive, like fighting or talking bad about each other. Cause I know how it made me feel when Mustaine did it to me. So I know how you feel. And it's yeah. not a cool feeling, man. It makes you go, why am I doing this? You yeah. know, and I'm sure Eric feels the same way many times. And maybe that's why he's being pissy because he's trying to do something good. And, you know, people don't want to listen. They don't care. They think he's crazy. They think you're crazy. They think I'm crazy. You know? Yeah. Because it's just easier to stay stuck on a spinning ball earth. But it, I, I just, I'm not feeling it. You know, I'm not feeling the 10 proofs that, that we got that it's spinning versus the 200 and counting proofs that, that reveal the other. Just I'm driving across the country. I'm looking. I'm like, show me a curve. Let me see it. Yeah. And fans are sending pictures to me right now from all over, listeners from all over the world from really high and videos and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not seeing the curve. Yeah, yeah, that's the question I've been putting out to. That's the really kind of the revised question I've been putting out to everybody. It's like, yeah, you know, there's a curve. We all know, you know, anything, anything else is ridiculous. Show me how you know. Don't tell me how you know. Show me how you know. You know, you, you, reading it in a book, that's not a curve. How do you know? Anyone that's listening, how do you know it's a curve? Go out, see if you can find it. And then if you find it, send me a picture or send anybody a picture. Send Jeff here a picture. Of, I've of got bets. I've got bets with these dudes. Thousand bucks. I'm going to be out when they give me one legit picture of Earth. Any listeners, man, go post it on my wall. Thousand yeah. bucks. They're not. They're pretty defiant about that it's a globe, but they're not rushing to send me a picture, even though I'm sure they all need a thousand bucks in their wallet right now. Sure, sure. It's 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 it's, it's a great con. It's the greatest con, and that is it's knowledge through assumption. We believe it because we were told, and we t- we were told because you know a, a science organization that dresses all in white, they uh, and flies around in space and shows us pictures of astronauts. They they're the ones that uh, they're t- they're telling you. They're saying, oh yeah, this is this is how it is. And, and what I'm trying to tell people now is, yeah, fine, you can believe them, but that's an awful lot of faith you're putting in. Blind faith, mind you, you're putting in a group. You better hope they be telling you the truth. And, you know, if you think you might be doubting or you think that they might be on the up and up, well, yeah, but they are also a military wing of the U.S. government. And if you think the military or the government would never, ever lie to you, well, then you got other issues you got to sort out first. So, but yeah, so far it's been going very, very well. I mean, we're on month nine of, you know, this journey and no one has come forward. And you would have thought this thing would have been stomped into the ground right away and it hasn't been and every every show that's being done you know there's bigger bigger people that are just trying to discuss it and you know they're still saying the same old things and it's it's ridiculous ridiculous i'm going yeah fine then why are you talking about it why you bring it up on your show why are you know and and it's uh it's it's fascinating to watch and i smile every time you know a debunker turns and because I was there, I, which is why I can't get mad at too many people that even try to shut this thing down. Because I, I tell them, I go, look, I was in your shoes. I sat on this thing for months, literally banging my head on the keyboard, broke a keyboard, as a matter of fact, trying to uh, trying to f- figure out a way to prove it was a globe, and I couldn't do it. Not in the end. 
And I encourage folks, go back. You know, we took the time and extracted Mark's Flat Earth 101 episodes one through four or up. I'll get episode five up and probably put this this up as well with some slides uh, so people can see it and get the visuals along with it. It's a Music Without Boundaries radio show. Mark's show is Strange World. Mm-hmm. Eric Dubay has a bunch of stuff online. There's Patricia's show. Everybody, just recommend everybody. There's yeah. no, there's room for everybody. Go watch everybody's stuff. This is how you do it. Then you yeah. know there's no agendas. There's no agendas here. Yeah, just, we're, we're all just trying to sort this out, and it's super super confusing. So we could really all use the all the help we could get. Yeah, yeah. What I've been trying to tell people recently is just type in you know so I I'm as objective as possible. Just type in flat Earth into YouTube. And set the filter to this year, and you will get a ton of things you can watch. I mean, more than you'll be. I mean, you'll you'll spend a week on it and still won't get through uh, the the bulk of it. So, good way to learn. One other thing I want to mention is he has a problem with who's the the character that came on Patricia's show and and uh, oh, Mister Mister Moot. Right, and M- this M- is the M-O-O-T. thing with him. Again, coming from a music background. Again, just like you come and you bring certain gaming references because I'm coming from a music background. I haven't seen that interview. It makes me want to go back and watch it. But I immediately just hearing you guys talk about it. I immediately think of Buckethead or Kiss when they came out in the makeup. People do that or Alice Cooper. People do this kind of thing. You know, one of my wisest teachers who taught me the most about how the world works he told me have you ever considered the power of anonymity because when people don't know who you are you can do things and say things and it's not held necessarily accountable to you and they can kind of hear the message without judging you like maybe a guitar player maybe he's not the most handsome guy yeah. So maybe when you're sitting in the audience, that distracts you. Like it's the old Phantom of the Opera story. He's sure. ugly, so the girl's not going to fall. In the- so maybe Buckethead goes on stage, you know, in this garb because he's shy, or he does. He wants people to hear the music without looking at his image or equating him to a rock star, or maybe just because he loves horror movies in Disneyland. He just loves that. And that's what he wants to merge up. And that's what he wants his image to be. And maybe this Mr. Moot, that's just his delivery. I don't hold anything against people for their delivery because coming from music, I know that there's been some amazing music and some geniuses, some outright geniuses that have come out and, uh, change the world in disguise you know yeah. Yeah. and the last thing i want to say is you know because bruce lee's a huge influence and i know eric's into the wen chung and and yoga and i love where when he goes down that path and starts talking about that stuff but when he does his ran on you and the others it's in direct opposition to everything that Zen is about, everything that yoga teaches you about being still, about being non-judgmental. Who's not who's judging who here? Yeah. Who is judging who here? Because I've heard Mark on my show never say anything but praise and outright reverence for Eric's work and on any other shows. And likewise, you know, I haven't heard uh, Eric, Borland seems to more talk about his own thing. I haven't really heard him reference other people yet but uh, i haven't watched some of his recent stuff because i hear he's getting pretty wild a little bit (laughs) a little bit so and but everyone again think about how the world works maybe when someone is acting out in a bizarre way it isn't necessarily because they're a shill it's because they're smart enough to look at how society works and they see things like Bruce Jenner and the Kardashians and the douchebag that is Donald Trump and how much attention that gets. And it seems sometimes, unfortunately, that that's the only way to get the masses, the sheeple to pay attention is to behave like that. Yeah. So may, wouldn't it be a luxury if you could go home and sit and be Zen and the masses would listen to you, but unfortunately the masses aren't that Zen yet. 
So they're just going to think that's trippy and Hollywood and politicians and just how they poke fun at the flat earth society. They, anytime in a sitcom or a movie, the the person who does yoga is a hippie, trippy, dippy, kooky kind of person in the script. They're never the together person that could be the president, you know, and there's no accidents again, how Hollywood frames stuff how the government frames the things they say. And again, we're just, again, I hope people, I think this has been good. I think it's been pie. I hope you feel better that you had a, another form to get this off your chest. And cause I know I didn't like it when I was, cause it was, it's undeserved when you're just trying to spread positivity and say, Hey, wake up. And I, I see the comments on the flat earth pages, every single one of them, you know, it's, it's a very polarizing topic. So There's so much shit being flung by, and mostly by ignorant people who just don't want to do the research. And we're like, this is crazy. NASA's real. You guys are crazy. You know, someone said the other day in a thread to me, what about the satellites, man? Bro, (laughs) come on, bro. What about the satellites? And you just, you just shake your head and you're just, uh, it's like, yeah, yeah. Like you people wear me. Out. You can't. You just wear me out, people. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You can't give up just part of it. Unfortunately, you're going to have to give it all up, and that's the toughest. People want to hold on to little little chunks of it. It's like, okay, fine, I'll give up the moon, but I won't give up the ISS, or I won't give up satellites, or I won't give up, you know, jet propulsion laboratory, or or, any, or the shuttle program. It's like, no, man, it was all bad. It was all. Well, dude, I love man. And last time you were on the show. I hadn't had time to to uh, listen to the the valve expert guy, but that guy was killing, just blowing yeah. huge holes in the IS. Just like yeah. the thing, like and the Na- the Navy uh, missile guy. Yeah, we have a full machine shop open twenty four seven because shit can go wrong. What yeah. if a hair gets stuffed stuck in the plumbing there? One little yeah. glitch in space, it all goes away, and yet they're all just worrying. Uh oh. We have dogs in the studio. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, one one little thing goes wrong in space, and they don't seem to be worried about it. They're just running around in in khakis and socks, polo shirts, and socks. I like socks. Their, I like the shit, man. I want to sign. Care. She's out in yeah. space practicing flute. Where do I sign up so I can go out in space and practice guitar? I mean, that seems like I could get some work done out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, NASA, call the me. Downtime. Call call me. Yeah. I'll go yeah. play guitar in space. Yeah. Okay. They, they so they should be maintaining stuff constantly. And then. So people, let's. This is the new world. This is the cool thing. We're all Jacques Cousteau was bullshit. He was there to per, Carl Sagan. Give me a break. Don't send me Carl Sagan, or the new Cosmo guy. We're all explorers now. We're all leaders. Let's figure out yeah. what Earth we're on. Let's figure out how we're gonna run stuff now. How we're gonna how are we gonna lead ourselves? For me, it seems like it needs to go more yeah. micro, like more back to the village and like it takes a village to raise a child. It takes we're going to have to do this on the smaller level instead of the opposite of what they're doing now, which is trying to make every hospital under one big umbrella, every record company under one big umbrella, one world government exactly where they're trying to go with this one world thing. It seems yeah. like it's the opposite. It's the exact yeah. opposite, which is what scares me because they're so far down that one path, yeah. you know, but yeah. even that I see, I even see how we could make that path path work. We could do a one world government as long as people just stop being greedy and just like, okay, but we got to be like Bob Marley. It's like one light, one love. Let's get together. It'll be all right. We got to And yeah, call me a hippie. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Ted Turner's going to call me a hippie, but that it's because he's a rick, rich, ignorant prick, man. And anyone that's below him, he doesn't have time for. And he wants to exterminate. And he ain't shy about saying it on Charlie Rose. Yeah. yeah. No, nor Bill Gates, nor Oprah Winfrey, no none of the other shit bags. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I just, I'm just here. I want to take care of each other. Let's all in the flat earth, on this flat earth. I'm driving across this earth. I have the luxury, Mark. I've been paying close attention with an eagle eye for the last week and a half on the road. Yeah. And I I can't see a curve. (laughs) 
and I'm filming. I have my camera running for miles and miles and miles. And wouldn't I eventually like see a dip? Wouldn't there be some kind of, I'm sure there's yeah. hills and valleys. And we took, I mean, Colorado we took, and there's a lot of hills there, but this time we went through Arizona and Texas and Oklahoma. Yeah. No wonder the wind comes whipping down the plains in Oklahoma. Cause it's fucking flat. Yeah. Let's play some music for the good people. Point. What do you think? I think they need some good music now. Yeah. So it's all about let's let's live on this flat earth in a positive way and let's stop losing time with negativity and let's figure out let's figure out something to do positive from here. I just I'm on whatever train. I just want I'm on the positivity train. Let's go. I'm that's on. What, that's what I'm trying to do with our music, and that's why I'm trying to bring this message out. And I'm, it seems like you're the same. And I haven't he- heard you have a bad thing to say about anyone. No, no. Or so you know. So if if shilly behaviors is saying negative things, where there's a positive, only positive stuff happening, you know, who's shilly? There you go. You're listening to Jeff Young's Music Without Boundaries. Thanks so much again, Mark Sargent, for coming on and giving us your time. We appreciate it so much. Thank you very much for having me. All right, buddy. All right. Hey, buddy. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen anyone with three eyes, six fingers on each hand, three legs, and a four-foot tail before? You know it's not easy being purple. I love listening to Jeff Young's music without boundaries. And I just heard Music Without Boundaries radio show has a brand new YouTube channel. Wow. So be sure to catch Mark K. Sargent of Strange World. There's a five-part interview now playing on the Music Without Boundaries radio show YouTube. You don't want to miss this. And be sure to subscribe to Music Without Boundaries radio show channel on YouTube.